the last one for Valentine's Day this year, I'll be using this squash tart. I've squashed other pieces and they do change a lot in, in appearance. So for this, I'm gonna go through my bucket of scrap. It's a lot che cheaper to buy scrap glass and even scrap marini. And often you'll find some beautiful, perfect pieces in here in that mix, but sometimes you find pieces that you really can't use for anything else. And since they're gonna be squashed anyway, I think this would be the perfect use for them. So I'm out of thin fire. I'm gonna reuse this heart. I put a little bit of glue around the edge, just hopefully to hold everything in place. I'm putting it on a kiln shelf that's been treated with boron nitrate and the shelf that's gonna go on top of it has also been treated with boron nitrate. I'm out of thin fire. I, I don't wanna buy any more. It's really expensive and I find I don't really need it. Okay, I'm gonna glue this one down the same way. I might make a couple more. I don't like to waste kiln shelf space and run the kiln unless it's full. I will probably have to go back and trim these up with the Taurus saw because they are definitely gonna mush and will probably lose their shape. But I think it's a really cool idea and I can't wait to see how it turns out. in the kiln for their first tack and then I did a silly one too. These are in spaced as far apart as I could get them and I'm gonna pile some extra kiln shelves on top and put those in for a full fuse. Let me see if I can get them a little further apart first but that's up next. Okay as soon as the gen ken is done I will run the Paragon to squash those flat. I don't have any extra fire bricks because I don't do squashing a lot, but I do have a lot of extra kiln shelves because I like to build on the shelf. So that's what I'm using. A couple extra kiln shelves, a couple of big kiln posts, and this will fire tonight. But even though the kiln is cool, all that mass in there is still too warm. Squashed well, now let's clean them up and see how they look. These really turned out great. The next step is to clean them up a little bit with the Taurus saw so they're a little bit more heart-shaped. Although they really didn't get too out of shape. So the first step with this is to put water back in it. You need to fill it midway up that blue wheel. You're supposed to use distilled water, particularly if you have hard water. I don't have distilled water. I do have hard water. Other fixes you can do, add a couple drops of dish squid or a little bit of vinegar. But if you haven't used it for a while, you need to double check your water level, make sure it's high enough. You need to just wet all these working parts to make sure they're lubricated before you start this work surface back in place and you're ready to go. These are absolutely gorgeous. I think I may like them better than the regular Marini, Marini hearts. I have to see how they look once they're fired, but certainly this sort of dull finish is going to shine right up. They are amazing. 
and I used scrap. I didn't use good Murini. You can see this one, it was one that was broken in half. I figured if I was gonna squash it anyway, I didn't have to use the perfect pieces. This is the one I'm going to finish because I wanted it on clear tecta. I think that'll make a very pretty, very delicate little trinket dish. These I used scrap Murini that had a clear border. And I don't think having those transparent places is going to be nice for this one. I don't think it's going to look good. So I need to get some red and I do not have any red squares right now. So these are going to be on hold for a while. This is the one I'm going to finish. I wouldn't be able to get an order placed and delivered before Valentine's Day. So these will be in the future. This one will be now. And certainly this whole technique of squashing Murini to make these hearts, I'm going to do so many more of them because I absolutely love them. My husband was teasing me because I finally got glass to look like my acrylic pores. Okay, so the squashed heart goes in on a plain piece of five and a half inch square tecta with a little bit of clear powder dusted over the top. Very lovely. Out of the kiln and now ready to be slumped. Oh dear, it's done, but I don't like that slumping dish at all. The heart looks pretty though.